Great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Everton. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Number 35, Alexander Zinchenko. Number 7, Mikhail Saka. Number 5, Thomas Partey. Number 34, Granit Xhaka. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. And here's how Everton lineup. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Yeri Mina in central defence. Alex Iwobi starts alongside Abdoulaye Dukure in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. Really looking forward to this one. Everton get the ball rolling. Calvert Lewin. Effective challenge. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. <laughs> Favouring the short one. And he cuts in from the wing. Xhaka. Marcinelli. Oh, did so well to deny him. Yeah. Well, they fancy a short one. Gabriel. Determined defending. Well read to put an end to that attack. Calvert-Lewin. Coleman. Options in the centre. Can he find the net? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Ducouré. Perfect challenge. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. Just lacked a bit of conviction and straight into the wall. Oh, 
Let's see about the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Ducouré. And back with he will be. McNeil. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Martin Odegaard. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Promising-looking attack from Everton. Big chance! No way through! Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Vitali Mikolenko. It will be now. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Everton goal. 1-0 then. Number 17, Alex Iwobi. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal have given it away. Thomas Partey. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Martin Odegaard. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. It will be. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Granite Jacker. Party. No, high quality defending. Thomas Partey. It's with Erdogan. Well, spot on with that challenge. Ducure. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. And we're moving ever closer to half time with Arsenal behind here. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first half performance. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Thomas Partey. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Gabriel Jesus. Well, the supporters think it's on. Just made sure nothing came of that. Zinchenko. Will they get themselves level here? And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here.
Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Well, it could be on for him here. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Gabriel Martinelli. Bukayo Saka. Back to Jesus. Could be. So half time. That will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. On a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard. Sum up his performance for us. Well, that's exactly what his team needed. Because they... So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. He's got space. Martinelli, superb block. Gabriel Jesus, and a fine stop. Well, they've decided to make a change. Short corner it is. Must take the lead here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Breaking at pace. Defenders need to cover. There were so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Gabriel Martinelli. Partey. Really getting stuck in. McNeil. A chance to whip it in. However, up a dead end. <laughs> Who can they pick out? And the danger's still on. Alan. Can he put it away? And quite simply, wide of the target. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Number 20, Deli Alley. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. Farce. Now with Jesus. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Keeper had work to do. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And over it comes. And did his job defensively. It did look on for them, but not to be. This is for Javier Santiago, attending his first game here today. So welcome, Javier. Calvert Lewin. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. But it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Alexander Zinchenko. Opportunity it is, and into the net from Gabriel Jesus.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. So Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Bukayo Saka. It needs an accurate cross. Partey. Martinelli. And a goal! A quick one too, And they've turned this game on its head. Well, I have to say, that's a brilliant finish. He wraps his foot around the ball and curls it brilliantly. I'm not sure the keeper could do anything about that. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Firing it towards goal, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Now sending it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Bukayo Saka. Partey. And an astute piece of defending. Calvert-Lewin. Ducouré. He could pick out a teammate. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And the pass, a good one. Just ten minutes remaining here. And Everton regaining possession. Deli Alley. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number 35, Alexander Zinchenko. Coming onto the pitch, number 19, Nicholas Pepe. Can he deliver it with accuracy? A deft clearance. Getting forward. Calvert Lewin. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Coleman. And under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. Well, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal are cruising, Stuart. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Opportunity here and a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So 
will be restarting the game and only one team in it. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Martin Odegaard. Now with Pepe. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, Nicola Pepe carried out his duties 